Hello fashion lovers, in today's video I'm going to take you along with me and show you how I customize these jeans into a denim skirt for a client. She asked that the skirt be designed with the crotch point in front and side splits instead of one down the center front. I'll be breaking down each step so you can follow along and create your very own. Three things to look out for when choosing jeans for this project are a pair that fits you well, has some stretch, and is straight or wide leg depending on your desired fit. Now that we've covered all the bases, gather your materials and let's get started. First undo the inseam by taking apart the chain stitch. Next, turn the pants inside out with the side seams aligned at the center front. Starting in the back, undo half the crotch length seam. Now we need to remove the point, so grab a ruler and place it along the edge to taper it off and blend the crotch length with the inseam. Afterwards, go ahead and serge or zigzag the raw edges together. Then starting in the original stitch line, sew approximately 3 8 inch from the edge. Next, press along the seam, flattening the seam allowance. To complete the back, all that's left is to redo the top stitch, which are those two rows of decorative stitch that you see here in a contrasting color. For this, I'll be using a matching heavy duty top stitch thread along with regular thread in the bobbin. You can use any color for the bobbin as it won't be visible on the right side. To start fresh, I remove the rest of the original top stitch, leaving roughly an inch intact to accommodate for the belt loop. Before sewing, increase the stitch length to three and a half or four. Here's what it looks like after. I decided on redoing just one row of top stitch. Moving on to the front, undo the crotch seam, stopping an inch from the zipper fly. On the wrong side, you'll see the fly facing. Stop an inch below the facing. Next, we're gonna close the front by first pressing the seam allowance open on the inner side of the seam. And this is so we can reuse the allowance without having to reduce the size of the skirt. Afterwards, lay out your skirt nice and flat, then starting at the crotch point, overlap the center front, then pin it in place. Continue pinning until you get past the slight curve. At this point, we're going to overlap the seam allowances, matching the original stitch lines together. For the front seam, I'll be sewing a double top stitch. So I'm going to start my first row along the edge in the original stitch line. To sew the second row, I land the presser foot with the edge of the seam and the needle centered, so the stitch lines are a quarter inch apart. Now that we've closed the seams, we're going to add the splits by opening up the side seams, stopping just above the knee. When you do that, make sure to reinforce the end of the seams so they don't unravel any further. I went ahead and sewed the slit on the other side already. First, I serge the raw edges, then turned under the allowance and sewed approximately a quarter inch from the edge. I sewed from the hem up to the top, then across and down the other side of the split. For the final step, I shortened the length of the skirt by four inches, using an inch and a half of those four inches to redo the hem. And there you have it. We just turned a pair of jeans into a chic denim skirt. 
Let me know if you found this tutorial helpful. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting DIY fashion ideas. Until next time, stay stylish.